Welcome sa sip9.com This video, tutuloy natin ang series on calculus, no? And uh, kung napanood nyo yung previous video natin, yung calculus 1.28, ang pinag-usapan natin itong function na to, no? Uh, we are talking about um, uh, calculating limits of uh, piecewise functions, no? And again, if you're not familiar with piecewise function, pwede nyo balikan yung ating mga videos. Just type sip na yan. Sip na yan. And then piecewise. Piecewise functions. So, lalabas yung mga, ano natin, yung mga videos natin dyan. Maganda pa na orin nyo from P, PW01 to PW08. Kasi dyan, dinidiscuss yung mga basics ng piecewise function. Paano ba siya basahin? Paano ba basahin yung graph? Paano ba i-graph? No? And of course, I have also uh, uploaded calculus calculus 1.12 tsaka 1.13. Just type sip na yan, calculus 1.12 or calculus 1.13. At nandyan din yung ating uh, introduction. Nag-introduce ako dyan ng, ng piecewise function and kinonect ko siya sa limits, no? So, dito kasi limits na yung pinag-uusapan natin. Now, ang maganda dito sa mga videos na to kasi uh, kinoconnect ko yung mga limits or sorry, kinoconnect ko yung piecewise dun sa sa graph, no? So, graphically. Yung graph tsaka equation ay kinoconnect natin. Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon sa video na to is isolve natin yung pangalawang uh, problem, no? Sa previous problem na Uh, o sa previous video, nasolve natin yung number 1 at nakita natin na yung left hand limit ay 2 at ang right hand limit ay 3. No? At sabi natin at a certain number, pag hindi pareho yung left hand li limit yun sa right hand limit, the limit does not exist. No? So panoorin nyo na lang kung gusto nyo ng detalye. Yung calculus 1.28. Okay, so for number 2, we have uh, the limit the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left. Again, if this is 2, no? If this is 2, ang ibig sabihin approaches 2 from the left. Galing dito, no? Sa kaliwa, papunta dito. Meaning, we are talking about numbers that are less than 2. Sa mga to, saan ang less than 2? Ito less than negative 1, so wala na to. Tapos ito, may meron tayong nakita ng less than 2. Ito naman greater than 2. So, malamang, nandito tayo kasi nandito yung x is less than 2. And again, although may equal siya, we are not concerned about the we are not concerned about the the number itself, x equals 2. But we are concerned about the numbers that are very close to 2. And sa number line, sabi natin, this is, these are the numbers that are either uh, to the right of 2 or to the left of 2. At dito, since left-hand limit yung pag-uusapan natin, ibig sabihin, as x approaches 2 from the left, no? So, x is less than 2. Nandito tayo. Meaning, ito yung gagamitin din natin expression. The limit, nandito yung less than 2. So, ito tayo yung katapat niya. The limit of x cubed, x cubed minus 2x plus 2, no? By the way, pag polynomial, nilalagyan natin ng ganito, no? Kasi pag sinabi na natin na limit of x, wala tayong, wala tayong parenthesis. Malamang, ito lang yung, baka mapagkamala na ito lang yung ating kinukuha yung limit, no? I think may mga previous videos yata ako na hindi ko nalagay, no? So, you have to be careful, no? Um, check nyo na lang, no? So, pag polynomial, dapat meron tayong ganito para we are getting the limit of this, no? Pag tinanggal natin to baka x cube lang yung makuha natin. So, this is as x approaches 2 from the left. No? Meaning, sa substitute na natin yun, yung 2 dito. No? So, this is 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 2, which is equal to, this is 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay? And then, we have uh, we have to get the limit, the right-hand limit also. This is the left-hand limit, 6 siya. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right, sana yung right? Obvious, dito na tayo kasi right is greater than 2, di ba? So, greater than 2 yung x natin. Natinitignan. So, this is equal to the limit of 
Pag nandito, siyempre yung katapat niya. Of x plus 4. As x approaches 2 from the right. Substitute, we have 2 plus 4. Which is equal to 6. So as you can see, the limit, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are equal. No? So meaning, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. No? Meaning, since equal sila, the limit, therefore, Kuha na natin to, yung uh, limit of f of x as x approaches 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 6. Kung ano yung limit ng dalawang yan. No? And tignan natin graphically. No? So here, as x approaches 2, ito yung 2 natin. What happens to f of x natin? Saan siya pupunta? Pupunta 6, di ba? Saan siya pupunta? Pagaling naman sa right. Pupunta 6 din. Pagaling sa left, no? As x approaches uh, 2 from the left, no? As x approaches 2 from the left, ano nangyari sa y mo? Sa function mo, napunta siya sa 6, diba? From the left, from the left. Galing sa left, papuntang 2. Yan, papunta rin siya ng 6 yung f of x. Galing sa right, papunta ng, ng 2. Ganun din dito din. Papunta rin siya sa... 6. No? So therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 6. No? So I hope maliwanag yung ating um, explanation. No? Uh, sana ay um, naiintindihan nyo. Kung hindi nyo naiintindihan, don't worry kasi maraming na naman talaga ang sudyante na hindi yan naiintindihan kagad. No? So just panoorin nyo lang pa ulit ulit yung video. Magbasa kayo ng notes. Panoorin nyo yung mga previous videos ng SIP na yan. Uh, I suggest na panoorin nyo from Calculus 1.01 no? para maintindihan nyo talaga. I think this is video 29 no? on Calculus. And syempre, mas maganda din yung kung gamay nyo yung pre-calculus, mas madali ito yung tindihan. Ayaw marami kayo natutunan sa video na to Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.